TG, this is Bria Skomberg, and today I want to share some very approachable tips of how to get started improvising. Whatever level you're at on your instrument or whatever style of music you like to play, these concepts will get you started taking chances, making choices, and entering the very fun world of spontaneous creativity. First, pick a melody that you're already familiar with and you don't need cheap music to play. Here's one of my favorites. Here's your first tip. The melody is always right. If you have a solo and you don't know what to play, play the melody. The melody is your friend, especially in unnerving situations. Now I mentioned earlier that improvising is about making choices. You already improvise daily while you speak to other people, making choices from your own vocabulary. Considering the melody is vocabulary now, let's start to make some choices with it. What if you played the melody but chose to just leave a couple of notes out, like this? As Dizzy Gillespie said, it's taken me all my life to learn what not to play. Try this a few times with the same melody making different choices, and as you get more comfortable, you can try it over maybe more complex melodies. Here's another one of my favorite melodies. So applying the same concept over Joy Spring, this is what that would sound like. So I'm still starting to improvise because I'm making choices, just choosing what not to play. That's your first step. Now let's experiment with the duration of the notes. So I'm going to play the same melody, but make choices of whether or not to play them short or long. Playing around with the melody this way while keeping in good rhythm will help you establish a good sense of time while not getting lost in the form. Speaking of rhythm, let's now incorporate some rhythmic improvising. So taking the same melody, I'll be making some choices of whether I want to play some notes shorter, perhaps double them up, play them off the beat, adding more syncopation and ultimately more energy to the piece. One, two, three. Now if I combine the first concept and that last one, I'm going to leave some notes out, decide to double up some of the notes or syncopate them, and see what happens. This is all just playing off a of melody and rhythm. One, two, three. And the beauty of this is that every time you do it, it'll be different. Let's try it again. Never the same way once. <laughs> So far we've been improvising just using the melody notes, but now I'd like to add a little embellishment where you can approach any of the melody notes or add a half step below, just to ornament it, like this. One, two, three. I will now combine that concept with the very first concept of leaving some of the notes out. Let's see what that sounds like. One, two, three. And now what if I took the embellishment of a half step below, but I'm going to add some rhythmic changes at the same time too. Hmm. One, two, three. And finally, I'm going to pull that all together where I will play an embellishment of the melody, making some rhythmic choices, but also leaving a little bit more space throughout. One, two, and one, two, three. And one more 
time. I'll play over the whole song just for fun to see what happens. It's always different. I have no idea. <laughs> one, two, I want two, two. <laughs> this has given you some ideas of how to improvise using melody and rhythm and honestly just play around with it it should feel like playing we love to play music and this practice I believe helps retain the character of the song as well enjoy have fun and take those chances <laughs> <laughs>